Well, hi guys. I'd like to show you, demonstrate for you a very simple uh, demonstration that could be done in a, in a classroom setting or have students do it at home. This actually comes from the National uh, Weather Service uh, uh, learning lesson, uh, one of the NOAA uh, websites. So you start with two clear uh, soda bottles and partially filled with water. I filled them about halfway with water and you need to have a stopper. I use these rubber stoppers for I got from chemistry lab, but you could use even a piece of clay or a piece of tape over the top. Then you want to have a thermometer for each. Uh, ideally you could use just a plain glass thermometer fit it, sit in there, or I like using these digital uh, vernier go temp, uh, uh, which I can just monitor on the computer, and that's what I'm going to do. So uh, then you need a lamp, a heating source. And the idea is that the, one of them, we're just going to put the stopper on it and we'll stick the temperature in here, the probe in there, and now it will record the temperature of the, of the gas in there. Now the second one, we want to uh, develop some CO2 in the bottle to see the, the effect on the temperature, change in temperature of the, of the atmosphere with, um, and so with, as it's heated. So what we're going to use is these Alka-Seltzer tab, tablets. Um, I bought the cheap ones from Walmart, but they should work fine. And so I'm going to stick them in there, and you know they will effervesce and they will. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Now I'm going to put put the stopper on here, and I am going to stick my temperature probe. Okay, tight. And now I'm going to turn the lamp on, and I am going to observe the temperature for an hour. I'll just come back in an hour. I will shut this video off and, and turn it back on and we'll see what the effect of the temperature of the gas in each bottle is. Stay tuned. Well, welcome back. It's been almost an hour. This uh, lab, this demonstration is about over. You didn't need to wait an hour, but uh, my temperature change for the approximately 40 centimeters that I had from this light bulb to these bottles was 9 degrees Celsius, warmer in the, in the bottle with the CO2. Obviously, that is a, this, the carbon dioxide is having an effect. Um, variables in this obviously would be uh, the wattage of your light bulb and how close you are to it. Um, but I think the point is well, very easy to, to demonstrate with very simple equipment students could do at home, but I think it'd be very effective to do at the beginning of a class or a lab and at the end of the class, even a short class. And this is stuff that's readily available. I bought the Alka-Seltzer from Walmart. Um, so uh, good luck.